Harry is haunted by dreams of a corridor leading to a locked door in the Department of Mysteries. Harry and Dudley are attacked by Dementors. Harry uses magic to defend them, leading to a ministry hearing. Harry is acquitted at the hearing, aided by Dumbledore and Mrs. Fig's testimony. Harry returns to Hogwarts and learns of the Order of the Phoenix, a secret group formed to fight Voldemort. Dolores Umbridge, a ministry official, becomes the new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Umbridge's oppressive rule at Hogwarts begins, enforcing strict ministry-approved teachings. Harry has visions of Voldemort seeking something. Dumbledore remains distant from Harry. Harry, Ron, and Hermione form Dumbledore's army, called the DA, to secretly teach practical defense against the dark arts. The DA meets in the Room of Requirement for clandestine training sessions. Harry experiences a vision of Mr. Weasley being attacked by a snake. Mr. Weasley is saved, validating Harry's vision and revealing his mental connection to Voldemort. Umbridge bans Harry from playing Quidditch after he confronts her about silencing Dumbledore. Cho Chang and Harry share a kiss, developing a romantic subplot. Umbridge discovers and disbands the DA, punishing Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Umbridge becomes the High Inquisitor of Hogwarts, gaining more control over the school. Hagrid returns with Grop, a young giant he intends to hide in the Forbidden Forest. Fred and George Weasley create havoc at Hogwarts, openly rebelling against Umbridge. Harry receives a vision of Sirius being tortured by Voldemort in the Department of Mysteries. The group, including Luna Lovegood and Neville Longbottom, rides Thestrals to the Ministry to save Sirius. They find the prophecy Voldemort seeks, revealing it's about Harry and Voldemort. Death Eaters, including Lucius Malfoy and Bellatrix Lestrange, ambush them in the Hall of Prophecy. An intense battle ensues between the students and the Death Eaters. Sirius Black arrives to help, battling alongside the students. Tragically, Sirius is killed by Bellatrix, deeply affecting Harry. Dumbledore arrives, dueling Voldemort and saving the students. Voldemort possesses Harry, trying to force Dumbledore to kill him. Harry fights off Voldemort's possession by focusing on his loved ones and his grief for Sirius. The Ministry officials arrive, witnessing Voldemort and acknowledging his return. Umbridge is removed from Hogwarts following her failure and exposure. Dumbledore explains the prophecy to Harry, either him or Voldemort must die at the hand of the other. Harry learns more about the Order and his role in the fight against Voldemort. The DA is vindicated, and its members are seen as heroes. Harry grapples with Sirius's death and his destiny outlined in the prophecy. Dumbledore reassures Harry of his strengths and the support he has at Hogwarts. The wizarding world is now fully aware of Voldemort's return, changing the course of the war. The Hogwarts Express takes the students back home with a somber yet determined atmosphere. Harry, Ron and Hermione reaffirm their friendship and commitment to fighting Voldemort. The story closes with a sense of impending challenges and the need for unity against the dark forces. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.